I think it's more than lived up so far to its potential. It's a fantastic machine, we've gotten a lot out of it. I'm Bill Huang and I'm a senior Tokamak engineer at Tokamak Energy. We're here in the new Tokamak Energy building. Um, behind me are the power supplies for ST40 and here is the sort of staging area for all of the equipment for ST40 for putting it together. A lot has been happening. We've been moving lots of things from our other buildings into here. So here we've got our ST40 device and we've taken off all the TF limbs. We've taken off all of the cores except the blue cores that you can see behind me, which are the pusher cores. And it's a great opportunity for us now that we've disassembled SC40 to put it together, but also do a little bit of an upgrade as we prepare for our 100 million degree challenge. Going from the 15 million target to the 100 million target is a huge step. And it, it means that we need everything we can throw at it. So we need three Tesla, we need as much field as we can. As you bring up the TF, everything scales with it. So that means you need more currents on all the other cores, so it means more power supplies on everything. That's a lot of equipment. Although the ST40 device will stay effectively the same size, all of the external equipment will go up by a factor of at least two. So behind me you can see the power supply mezzanines, so I don't know the exact, exact dimension of those, but they're absolutely gigantic. Two levels and they will just be filled completely with power supplies that will all be used just to feed directly into ST40 get us our target towards 100 million degrees. And then we've got other upgrades as well, so other calls going on, more power supplies, better vacuum systems, better cryogenic systems, so we might be going to liquid nitrogen to cool down a lot of the coils and that allows us to get more performance out of the power supply as well. These were on SC40 for 15 million degrees so they helped us achieve that target. These are our BVL cores, these are our biggest polluter field cores. They're in cans because they're cryogenic rated and they're designed to carry 45,000 amps round. We're looking at essentially doubling two, two to two and a half times everything. So these would be two and a half, two times the current. Fire. We're pulse limited, so one thing that's absolutely certain, if we cool it down, we can get longer pulses. And that's the biggest argument for, for cooling down to liquid nitrogen. One of the things is a new centre column. So this centre column has got a solenoid wrapped around it. And it's also got a different joint design. So we're hoping that the joint design will allow us to get from 100 kiloamps up to 250 kiloamps, which means we'll be able to run the machine from 1.2 Tesla at 40 centimetres to 3 Tesla. So we'll get higher field with this centre column and we'll also be able to drive plasma currents, higher plasma currents and plasma currents for longer. What we've just done in preparation for the new centre column is we've unsoldered all of these. The new centre column, instead of having a curved contact face like this, will have a flat contact face. So we've just done that on 24 of our limbs and then when we get all of the new components, we'll then be soldering all of them back on. We could potentially get huge improvements on plasma performance by increasing the magnetic field. There's so much more that we can get out of this machine as well. We've only really scratched the surface. We can go from 1.2 Tesla to 3 Tesla, which is game changing. So there's so many different things that we can do on this machine. And I think already as a, a small company, we've proven that we can build a Tokamak of this calibre and then prove that we can go even further and build even bigger and, and better, more powerful machines.